Kuchisakiana, or the slit-mouthed woman, is a petrifying figure in Japanese folklore. She's known for her disfigured face and haunting presence. Kuchisakiana is depicted as a woman wearing a surgical mask. The most horrifying aspect of her appearance is her mouth, which is slit from ear to ear. There are various theories about her origin. One popular story suggests she was a samurai's wife, mutilated by her husband for infidelity. In another version, she's a victim of a botched or malicious medical procedure. Kuchisake Ana is known to ask a chilling question to her victims. Am I pretty? Your response can trigger a terrifying reaction from her. If you answer no, she becomes violent. If you say yes, she removes her mask, revealing her grotesque mouth, and asks again. Answering either way can lead to a gruesome end. It's said that confusing her with ambiguous answers or throwing fruit or sweets can give you a chance to escape, as she pauses to pick them up or ponder the response. Originally an Edo period legend, Kuchisake Ona saw a resurgence as an urban legend in the 1970s in Japan, reflecting societal fears. She's often seen as a symbol of vengeance or jealousy, reflecting deep-seated fears and societal issues related to beauty and infidelity. During the peak of her urban legend's popularity, it was reported that children were escorted home in groups for safety, highlighting the widespread fear she inspired. Kuchisake Ana has been adapted into various movies, manga, and books, often portrayed with a degree of sympathy as a tragic figure. She represents a fusion of traditional ghost story elements with modern urban legend, embodying deep fears about trust, disfigurement, and the unknown. Another spine-chilling figure from Japanese folklore is the Akamanto, Red Cape, a malicious spirit that haunts public and school restrooms. This urban legend has been a source of fear, particularly among children and teenagers, for many decades. Akamanto is often depicted as a handsome man wearing a red cape and a mask, which conceals his face. In some variations, he is described as a faceless spirit or a ghost with a severely disfigured face. This spirit is known for haunting restroom stalls, typically the last stall in a women's bathroom, although he's also been said to appear in men's restrooms. The Akamanto asks a person using the restroom a critical question, usually along the lines of, do you want red paper or blue paper? If the person chooses red paper, it's said they will be killed violently often resulting in their body being covered in blood. If they choose blue paper, they will be strangled or suffocated, turning blue. In many versions of the story, choosing any color or trying to outsmart Akamanto leads to a gruesome fate. Some tales suggest the only way to survive is to refuse his offer entirely. The Akamanto legend is a popular story shared among school children often used to scare peers or as a rite of bravery. The setting of the story in a restroom, a place of privacy and vulnerability, adds an extra layer of horror to the tale. Akamanto has been featured in various horror video games, manga, and anime, often as a terrifying antagonist. Like many urban legends, the story of Akamanto has been adapted and modified over the years reflecting changing societal fears and the creativity of each generation. The Akamanto legend is a prime example of how urban legends adapt to the cultural and social environment, continuing to terrify new generations with its blend of the mundane, a visit to the restroom, and the supernaturally macabre. A deeply unsettling and eerie legend from Japanese folklore is that of the Teke Teke. This urban legend, particularly popular among school children, tells of a vengeful spirit that haunts urban areas and railway stations. 
Teke Teke is said to be the ghost of a young woman or schoolgirl who fell onto a railway line where she was cut in half by a train. This tragic accident left her as a vengeful spirit, crawling using her elbows or hands, making a distinctive Teke Teke sound. The ghost is known for its speed and is said to slash victims in half, mimicking her own disfigurement. The story usually involves unsuspecting individuals encountering Teke Teke in quiet, dimly lit streets or around train stations at night. According to the legend, encountering Teke Teke is almost always deadly. She's said to wield a scythe or a sharp weapon, cutting victims in half to mirror her own state. Teke Teke is a relatively modern legend part of a wave of urban legends that spread through Japan during the late 20th century. Some interpret Teke Teke as a representation of the tragic consequences of bullying or the despair of untimely death. Teke Teke has been featured in various Japanese horror films and manga, often depicted with graphic and disturbing imagery. Like many urban legends, it serves as a cautionary tale sometimes used to discourage wandering alone at night or engaging in risky behavior. The legend of Teke Teke, while modern, taps into timeless fears, the suddenness of unexpected death and the idea of restless, vengeful spirits. It's a stark reminder of how new legends can form and spread, especially in an urban context reflecting contemporary anxieties and social issues. Make sure to like and subscribe for more stories.